She was 2.20 in around that dollar eighty mark. But in the last about three or four minutes, she's got back out to $1.95. She's going to touch even money in, in a second here, I think. And all the money's come for here comes Millie late. I hope, um, hope no one's listened to me out there when I tipped it on top. But it sounds like they are. Here comes Millie being the best supporter late. All the early money for Aunt Virginia, but that has now dried up. She is out to two dollars. Here comes Millie in the two dollars eighty. One runner that does always pop up at some sort of odds is Groovebird there in box six, and it's seeing a bit of each way support. One to eight and four for me. And with Aunt Virginia, it's just that untapped talent she seems to have. And of course, she's notched up a lot of wins in her career. They've been in, in inferior company to what she meets here tonight in heat three of the Sapphire Crown. But I think she can capitalise on box one. Here comes Millie's another one who can show pace. Just for me, hasn't taken that next step yet. But this is a series where she can. And we know with any greyhound with the ethanol prefix, they're going to get back in the field. They're going to run on. That is what number eight ethanol water is going to do. This is heat three of the Sapphire by Crown, top two to next week's final. Here's Dan. Race number four, heat three of the Sapphire Crown. Favourite, even money, Aunt Virginia, ready to go. Third heat of the Sapphire Crown. Racing, Aunt Virginia only fair to go. Speed out, Jackpot Joan, and here comes Billy. Aero Rickerton is trying to carve over to the rail was Groovebird. Sticking to the fence was Aunt Virginia, but it's going to need luck. Behind them was Lakeview Alley, Deeper Meyer, and last of all was Ethanol Water. There's only half a dozen first to last. It's here comes Billy, the leader. Leads out by two on Groovebird. Trying to rail through now as Aunt Virginia. They get clear on. Here comes Mi around the turn, though. It is here comes Billy. After it was Aunt Virginia. Here comes Billy. Aunt Virginia dies. I reckon got it. Aunt Virginia, I reckon, on the last little hop grab. Here comes Millie. We'll go to the judge. Third, it'll be Groove Bird. Fourth in Aero Rickerton, who stuck to the rail. Out deep was Mayer. Uh, Ethanol Water was getting home as well. May have been in, a, in that photo for fourth. Further back then to Jackpot Joan and Lakeview Alley. And the time, 29.61. And Aunt Virginia gets the money. One, two. There, Andrew, but she got the job done right on the line. Just uh, talk us through the run and what you were thinking throughout it because she almost messed it up at the start. Yeah, the, like I said, she's like she could run time on her own, but it's different when you're on with seven others on, you know, on your outside. And I saw her trying to find her, like she was trying to shift up a bit. Um, but yeah, just as long as she, I always think, as long as you get around safe around the first bend, then you've got a chance to balance up. So she did that and it was good. She found a really good spot through the first turn and you could just see her stalking and um, were you thinking at any stage that she was going to get the leader or did you, were you just hoping to qualify? Yeah, I always yeah, I always think that in my mind. Like if, it, if you're having a place bet, you just think, oh, well, as long as you're on third or something like that and it doesn't really matter what happens after that. So when I saw her third down the back, I thought as long as she gets run second, that'll do. But yeah, two wins also a bonus, so it's good. And another big final for her. She's just been so consistent and... Uh, probably is one that's going to be deserving of a, a nice feature race like this and a nice, you know, a Group 1 win beside her name or beside your name would be nice next week too. Yeah, it'd be nice, but, you know, that's all... How can I say? Don't get too far ahead of ourselves, so we'll take it as it comes. You've got to get a little bit excited. You've just made another Group 1 final. Yeah, I guess so, but I, I still... I, I'm better off when I just keep, keep a level head, if that makes sense, so I don't get too carried away these days. Well, hopefully we're talking this time next week and you can be celebrating a little bit more once you've won it. True, that'll be good. Andrew Paris Skivas, boys, Aunt Virginia, too good, right on the line in the third heat of the Sapphire Crown. Let's take a look at this replay and, and how she began because, look, she was tardy, she stepped straight to the left and that gave, here comes Millie, opportunity to go forward and right there she was under the pump, so she hasn't done it the easy way, has she? No, nah, she showed a lot of grit there and like you said, I think it was the, the three Lakeview Alley there that was coming down on Aunt Virginia, Virginia in that run to the first turn. But she had the inside, she showed a lot of ticket to, to burrow way through under there, got into a good position going down the back straight. And I think we um, heard him say in, that in, in the preview that they think that she might make a good 600 metre, 600 metre bitch, and she really showed her strength there in the end to run down a greyhound like Here Comes Millie, who's definitely no slouch, but that's some sort of win. But we got the race we wanted to see in the end. We had Aunt Virginia was 220 into $1.80, got back out, back out to 220. And then in the end, here comes Millie, was the best backed runner and well supported in the $2.60 late. So we got the race we wanted to see in the end, and it was some sort of tussle going down the home stretch. We always want to see the top dogs perform well and, and battle in running, in particularly late. That's what we saw there, and it's important for the final as well, especially given the absence of McKenna. We need some star power, and, and these two certainly have a bit of that. Yeah, they definitely do. I just had a look at the first section, was 5.10, so 
definitely the greyhound like here comes Millie had her chance. You know, she's gone five ten leading early. Um, we've seen the first couple of heats uh, go probably a length and a half a length quicker than that um, early on. So um, they probably need to lift a little bit early. And, and a greyhound like Aunt Virginia, you know, she had box one tonight. If she if she draws a bit wide off the track and there's a bit of pace around her, she will need a touch of luck next week. But there's no doubting she is a class animal. Indeed she is. Do you think either of those two, Aunt Virginia or Here Comes Millie, are draw dependent when it comes to an inside alley? Yeah, you know, maybe not so much um, Aunt Virginia after watching that. She did use the inside of her revenge and, and got a bit of luck um, in the run of the first turn, but if she draws four or five and she misses it and finds defence, you know, like a sort of a zipping Megatron sort of style, she can finish over the top of him yeah, again. Yeah, she's shown from Wentworth Park in the pink in that yeah. heat of the new sensation. Yeah, yeah, she's got a lot of class. Um, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to say attempt to price this final um, once we get the box draw. While, yeah, we're getting the same service down here. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how we go. See how we go. So I'll try and, we'll try and get that final out um, to everyone once we get the box draw. Um, but she's going to be in the thick of things um, once they do the box draw. So that will be following race 10, the box draw for not only the Group 1 Sapphire Crown, but also the Group 1 Harrison Dawson. And how good are these scenes? Trackside with... Uh, I hate myself, I've forgotten this young fella's name, but there he is with his dad, Andrew. And no doubt, he's in the best possible hands, Richie, if he wants to become a future Greyhound trainer. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And that, these are great scenes that, um, you know, you, you don't really get to see unless you come to the track. And we probably need a bit more of this. And, you know, it, it is a family sport, Greyhound racing. And you see a lot of the trainers like um, your Andy Lords and, and things like that. They've got their, their daughters involved and there's always people helping out. It's not just a one-man band and... Um, it's very good to see these scenes on course here tonight. It's like when you follow a footy team that uh, one of your parents honed in on as a kid to get brainwashed and then it's end of story. I think it's similar when it comes to the dogs. But Aunt Virginia and here comes Millie, the two out of heat three of the Sapphire Crown that progress to the final. They join Cruising Debbie, Granny Roses. There'll be plenty of those on Sunday for Mother's Day. Mackinac Peach, Lakeview, Emily. 